and um, hoping that you're having a wonderful day with your family. I am thankful that God continues to be good to us in spite of all that we've encountered uh, during the year, in spite of all that we have experienced. We've been in a pandemic. We've been, oh my God, it's been so much that has happened. Many have lost jobs and lost loved ones, yet we are still here. And we are still here to say, had it not been for the Lord who was on our side, hallelujah, where would we be? I thank God for each and every one of you. Thank you for your support through the year. Thank you for your prayers. Thank God for your words of encouragement. Those of you that have stood with us in the ministry, I am absolutely grateful that you have been with us. To God be the glory. Indeed, let earth receive her king. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. He has come and he is still with us even till now. He is still with us, blessing and keeping us. He's still preserving us by the hand of his grace, by his mercy, and by his excellent care. He is a keeping God. And so today, I, whether you believe in the Christmas message or not, I am just grateful. Hey, Merry Christmas, Auntie Jojo. Happy holidays to you and Merry Christmas. I am glad that he came. He came that I might let, that I might have life and have it more abundantly. He came that I might live. He came that I might be set free. He exchanged his life for mine. What a wonderful thing this God that we serve has done. And so I want to wish you and yours a merry, merry Christmas. I want us to reflect on this day, that this was a day, I guess, um, if you look at it really, Mary probably had other plans as to how she would have this baby. Maybe she thought that she would have been at some grand uh, uh, um, uh, baby shower or surrounded by all of her friends and families. Maybe she thought that she would have, you know, so many people there celebrating the birth of this Savior. Maybe after the news that she had and she began to declare, my soul hath magnified the Lord and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he had regarded the lowliest of his handmaiden. For behold, from hence Henceforth, all generation shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty and magnified me and holy is his name. Hallelujah. And his mercy upon them that fear him throughout all generation. He had brought down the mighty from their seats and exalted the humble and meek. Can you imagine Mary saying this and then get to the inn and recognize that there was no room? It wasn't what she planned to bring her baby into a stable that was filled with smelly animals. But let me tell you something. There are some times that we come upon situations that we did not plan for, but it was all working together for our good. That the manger was the place, hallelujah, that where Jesus laid, it was his humble beginnings. He was a king that laid aside his divinity and came, hallelujah, and clothed himself with humanity so that he can come down so that we can receive the king. The king is come today. And whatever you celebrating today, I want you to remember most importantly, hallelujah, joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Remember, remember to sing because the Lord has come. Remember to sing that once he is with us, Emmanuel, God with us. He is still with us today. Hallelujah. He is still with us today. Merry Christmas to you, Sister Hadassah Harry. Merry Christmas to you, Sister Natisha York. He is with us. The Savior is still with us. He came so that we can have life. Hallelujah. And I'm glad that he came. I'm so glad. Whether, he, whether you believe that he was born on the 25th, of December or not, all I'm happy to know is that he came. And to God be the glory that he came so that we might have life. He came, the Bible says that the angel said to, J to, to uh, Joseph, 
that he, Mary shall have a son and you shall call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. That's the reason why he came. He came to save us from our sins. If you want to tell somebody the Christmas story, we're celebrating with the cake, the ham, the oxtail, the yam, the turkey, the rice and peas, and the curry goat, and whatever else that we're eating today. But we are going to celebrate the birth of the Savior. So from my family to yours, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. God bless you, and enjoy the season. May the peace, the joy, and the comfort of this season remain with you all the year through, even into the new